Hi all, in this video, let's see how to write a polyfill or array filter method. So this is a common JavaScript interview question. So let's understand this. So before going with this, we need to understand the polyfill. What is meant by polyfill means it, this is like a piece of code you are going to give to the old browsers such that modern features will work in the old browser. So that is the meaning of this polyfill. So now let's understand what is a filter. So first thing is like we have an array here. In to this array, we are applying a filter method. So this is inbuilt JavaScript filter method we are talking about. So first let's understand how it works. So this is a ordinary like original array. These are the elements in this array. We are filtering the elements. So we have a couple of elements. We only want to pick the even numbers. Okay, then you are going to use filter and to each here item means each and every element filter means it will iterate over each and every element okay and based on this condition so we have wrote some condition such that if this condition is true it means those are even numbers so only when this condition is true only those elements would be pushed into the new array other elements would be ignored so that's the reason if you run this piece of code out of all these elements you will be getting only the even numbers like this so this is what a filter mean fine so now we need to write our own code base which applies which behaves like this so that is known as a polyfill so now let me comment this and let's start so this is the array we have so now what i am doing is array data dot my filter so this is our own filter we are trying to write our own field filter so now to my filter what I will do is I will write a function okay to this function I will take all these parameters like index element index and array okay this is what we are going to do now inside this yes what we have here we have a condition right so the same condition I'm going to write here the return so I will write the same condition so to make sure like uh, we are going to return back the even numbers only even numbers fine now this is the array and this is my filter is my own filter we have not yet wrote that we'll write it to this we are passing one callback function so this is a callback function so now let's get start writing about this my filter so whenever you try to write your own filter to the arrays so you need to know about this array dot prototype so this is array dot prototype so this is a global object where you can add properties and methods to this so that all the arrays can use this method so what we are doing is we are adding our own filter function so this is what we are going to do now i'm writing this as a callback function so whenever you call my filter so entire this function will be in this callback variable in this callback parameter Okay, now let's write this our own function. It means we are writing our own filter function. So what we need to understand by the filter is it will apply on the original array and it will return back a new array. So it means we need to have a new array. So let new array. Let me take one array, an empty array. So we need to return back the new array right here. What is returning? It is returning back the new array. So let's return back this new array. Okay. Here in middle, what we need to do is we need to iterate over each and every item in the array. So for that, what I am taking is let i is equal to zero, i less than this, i plus plus. So what is this here? So whenever you are calling this method, who is calling this method? My filter. This array is calling. So when this array is calling this method, here this becomes this array. So this will refer to this array now. So that's the reason this dot length you're going to iterate this array through the end of the array the length of the array you're going to iterate over each and every element till the end so here this means this array data is calling this method no now this means this it will point to, to this array okay in that way you could able to get the who is calling this method with this in that instance will be available here in the this now we are going to iterate over each and every element now we need to keep one condition if we need when you are going to push the elements into this new array whenever this condition is true then only you are pushing that element into this new array if not you are ignoring that item 
so that is what we are going to do we are going to write one condition what is that condition means i am using callback method so this is what i am using what is this this is a callback method in this you have entire this function okay to this function what you are going to pass is firstly this of item so it means the current item you need to iterate over each and every element right so here the item you are going to pass item means here this dot this of i and now you can pass i so i means it is like a loop so it will be pointing to each and every element in the array so you can understand this as an index now you are passing index i to this i and now you can pass this this is the reference of the array to this variable so we could able to pass all the things to this function okay this function now it is it will push if it is true okay now you are passing this item you are passing a current item to this item okay once this condition is true then what happens is this callback becomes true okay it means this if condition is true you are returning something so i need to call this callback function for each and every function element in the array for each and every element in the array we are going to call this callback if it is true then only it will return true right it will return true then in this if statement becomes true then only you are going to push that element into the new array if that is false you can ignore that element so that's the reason what we are doing is we are going to keep the current element here so this is what we are going to do for each and every element you will be calling this callback method if this becomes true okay then only you will enter into this if statement and you are pushing that current element into the new array now you need to catch that new array so result array okay let me print so here you are returning right once you are iterated over each and every element and you are verifying the if block and you are pushing that in the new array you are returning back that in a new array fine and you are returning the new array and this result array will hold this new array so now let's print this result array so let me print this result array fine because this is going to this is not going to modify the original array the array data will be the same in the new array you will be filtering and you will be getting only the even numbers now this new array was re returned and it is available in the result a array now let's see that so oh, yes let me refresh this once yes yeah, this is what we got we we have commented the earlier usage of this filter so whatever the console we are seeing is the even numbers so this is the polyfill so in in the last videos i have explained about the polyfill for the map as well so please check out that video in that video i have used for off loop but for off loop also may not be used in the, the older browsers it not work in the older browsers so here i have used the plain for loop okay and also in that video i have used an arrow function here so arrow functions also may not work in the older browsers so that's the reason i have used a plain function here okay so also one important thing i want to mention is naming this function this is your own function right your own array function so name it uniquely if not in future if the javascript people like ecmascript if they add the same my filter to the array then this will be overridden so whenever you are trying to write your own polyfill okay try to mention that with your org name and the polyfill and name so like this you need to name your like uh, like this you need to name your function okay then it would be unique it will not override even if the ecmascript people uses the same fun name as well there won't be any naming conflicts clear hope you understand this video so there we have a number of videos like this in our rethink ua channel so let's have have a look at it if you like the videos please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching